Hi dear children, in last class we have learned behavior of some animals. In this class we have learned about, learn about uh, how to uh, process the honey and collecting the honey and its uses. Okay, here one small story is there. In that story four, char four characters come Fatima, uh, Radha, Tejas and Honey Bee are the four characters in the, these characters between these characters some conversation is there i will read you fatima said look at the honey bee sucking nectar from a flower look here children look this picture here one honey bee is there and flower is there honey bee sucking the nectar from the flower nectar means a sweet liquid present in leaves are present in flowers that is called nectar okay next radha said come let us talk to the honey bee tejas honey bee honey bee where is your hive honey bee said look here children this is hive these are hives okay look there my hive is in that tree Next, Teja said, we see only the bees there. Honey bee, that is my family. Fatima asked, what you have such a big family? Honey bee said, yes, there are thousands of bees in a family. There is one queen bee and the rest are workers bees. The worker bees do work such a building, the Hive collecting food, looking after the queen bee, etc. The work of the queen bee is only laying the eggs. Radha said, oh, Tejas, your hive looks very beautiful. Honey bee said, we produce a sticky material called wax. We build the hive with the wax. We build it on the branches and in hollows of trees, terrace of big buildings, etc. Fatima asked, your food is the nectar of flowers, isn't it? Honey bee said, yes. We store the nectar in the hive and eat it when we need food. It is the honey. Tejas, I too like honey. Honey is so sweet, right? Yes, my grandmother told me that it has also medicinal qualities. Honey bee said, Yes, true. Do you know that all the honey you eat is not pure? People mix jaggery or sugar syrup to honey and sell it. Then Fatima said, then how do we find out whether the honey is pure or impure? Honey bee, do this activity. Do it yourself. Take a glass tumbler, put some water in it, add two drops of honey into it and stir it well it mixes with water before it settles down it is not pure okay if it settles down and then slowly mixes with the water very slowly then uh, we conclude that it is pure honey is it clear children how we classify the pure and impure honey now do you know which is pure honey tejas oh honey bee oh uh, it's getting late. I have to collect the nectar. I have to leave you children. Radha said, all right honey bee, let us meet again. Fatima. Fatima said, do you know I have seen small bees. They build a hive in the space between the stones. Look here children, all the hives are not in the same shape. They are in different size and different shapes. Look, there are three types of uh, hives are there here. Look here, this is a different, this is also different, this is also different. These three are different each other. Observe the picture and the size of the bees and the type of the hives are not same. There, there are different types of bees and hives around you. Tejas said, I have seen the rearing of bees and collecting the nectar, collecting the collecting of honey near Nagarhole forest. Some people, they rear honey bees and they collect honey from the hive. Look here children, how they are reared honey, honey bee. Okay, Fatima 
uh, wooden honey boxes are kept in gardens people get the honey and collected in eight stages yes i have seen such boxes in my uncle's garden also radha said a lot of honey is used at home i like honey very much children you also like uh, honey yes tejas and fatima we like it too radha said my grandfather tells me that there are other products from the hive here one active one question is there do you use honey at home you right yes for what purpose do you use it honey for you uh, for we use honey for medicinal purpose you you right we use honey for medicinal purpose okay children next which are the other things available to you from the i look at this pictures children honey uh, this uh, at the center of the figure hive is there he, this is honey candle paint ointment powder ink and honey is come from hive next candle 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 is uh, used to firing the light it is prepared by wax the next next is paint paint is also obtained from the uh, remaining uh, wax from the hive okay next we uh, we prepare ointment also and also powder and we prepare ink also from this hive okay do you do you know these children from special qualities are there from uh, some honey bees Uh, first point a honey bee collects nectar from 50 to 100 flowers in one round do you believe this yes we all believe this a honey bee collects nectar from 50 to 100 flowers in one round the only food that man eats produced by the insect is honey uh, the only food that man eats produced by the insect is honey only okay as the ants and the white ants burrow and the ground and allow the air to pass into the soil the plants grow luxuri luxuriantly okay next point is hives nests ant hills termites and spiders web etc are the wonderful construction of the animal kingdom the last point is the ant which carries leaf on its back to protect itself from the sunlight it is called umbrella ant umbrella ant children now we see the question answers first question which bee collect nectar from flowers which bee collect nectar from flowers worker bee worker bee which bee lays eggs queen bee which bee lays eggs queen bee next third question which bee does most of the work which bee does most of the work worker bee worker bee do most of the work what is the male bee called what's the male bee called do drone what's the male bee called drone next question name three insects which live together in a group like honey bee answer ants termites and wasps ants termites and wasps which are the other things available from the hive which are the other things available from the hive they are honey ink candle paint ointment powder honey ink candle paint ointment powder okay next what is nectar the sweet liquid present in flowers is called nectar the sweet liquid present in flowers is called nectar thank you children